Hi, Dale again coming to you from my garage and in this quick video I'm going to show you a project that is a great project to do with a young child. I'm getting ready for our company retreat and at the retreat we're going to have a white elephant gift exchange. All the gifts must be in the theme of code, that is coffee, office, duckies, or eats. So I, of course, chose duckies. Here is a really easy duck-shaped clothespin paper or envelope holder. This really is an awesome, awesome project to get a young person involved in woodworking. Really easy to do. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is either draw or download a template from the internet, print it out, and then loosely cut around the shape. Now find yourself some scrap wood that's large enough to hold the templates. I'm using three quarter inch wood for the body and the feet and one eighth inch plywood for the wings. So that you can cut both wings at the same time and have them match, take some double sided carpet tape and tape the two one eighth inch pieces of wood together. Using spray adhesive, spray the back of the wing template that you cut out. Give it about 30 seconds or so to get a bit tacky and then place it on the pieces of wood you tape together that you're using for your wings. Then, using a scroll saw, cut them out. Don't worry about staying right on the line. No one's going to notice if you don't follow the line perfectly. If you're doing this with a kid and you're not comfortable with them using a scroll saw, then by all means, have them use a coping saw instead. Now simply break the two pieces of wood apart and peel off the template. Here's a tip. Make sure before you tape the two pieces of wood together and before you adhere the template to the wood that you are not about to get called inside the house to help with a few things, leaving your tape and adhesive to really set in. It will make removing them much, much harder. Follow the exact same process for cutting out the duck feet. Using spray adhesive, stick the template to the piece of wood and then cut out around the template using your scroll saw or a coping saw. Hmm, I wonder how I'm gonna cut out the duck body. Oh yeah, I remember. Use spray adhesive on the template, stick it to the piece of wood, and then using a scroll saw or a coping saw, cut out the shape following the template. To soften the duck body, use a roundover bit on all sides of the duck body except the bottom of the legs. We want the bottom of the legs to square up with the duck feet. Again, if you're working with a kid, I probably would recommend skipping the router and use sandpaper instead to soften the edges. Now take your wooden clothespin and position it where you think it looks best on the duck. Simply give it a mark and then using a straight edge, Continue the mark across the entire duck's head. Now it's time to cut the duck's head in half. I use a table saw because it's easiest for me. But for sure, do not let any young kid use the table saw. Use basically any hand saw you want, or if you're comfortable enough with your kid, let them use the scroll saw or band saw. This is up to you to decide what to use. At this point, you have all the pieces cut. This is just a quick look at the way it will be assembled. I do want to show you a mistake I made. 
I think I had fit to page selected when I printed the duck feet template. You can see this duck would have had very big feet. So I reprinted and recut the duck feet smaller and on half inch plywood. Trace out where each wing will be on the body, where the wooden clothespin will attach to the head, and where the legs will attach to the feet. We want to tape off any area that we will be gluing so it will not be painted over. We will attach the feet to the body at this point. Pre-drill a hole in the feet where the legs will attach. Turn the feet over and countersink the pilot hole on the bottom so the screw will not protrude out. Insert a screw from the bottom so that it sticks out a bit from the top of the feet. Use the tip of the screw to mark where we will attach the body to the feet. Pre-drill, but do not countersink, the duck legs. Then, spread some glue on the bottom of the duck legs and fasten with a screw. When you have the feet attached, it should now be able to stand on its own and look something like this. It is now time to paint. I start with painting the body black. So I tape off the areas that we marked earlier for gluing the wings and clothespin on. I also tape the legs and feet as those will be painted orange. Now, simply paint the body black, the wings and clothespin orange. Once that has dried, we can come back, tape the body, leaving the legs and feet open to be painted orange. To attach the clothespin to the duck body and the top of the duck's head, I use glue and painter's tape. I put a small amount of glue on the clothespin and attach it to the top of the duck head first with tape. Then I repeat the process and attach it to the duck body. Make sure you use plenty of tape and get a really good strong hold. That's the only thing holding it together while the glue dries. I apologize, but I forgot to film the gluing of the wings to the body. It was nothing special. Simply spread the glue on the wings and clamp them to the body. I used three coats of spray lacquer and then the project was done. So there you go. My very own duct shaped clothespin paper holder or envelope holder. All made from scrap wood super easy to do and this really really would make a great project to do with a young child if you did do it with a young child i would say maybe you want to swap out some of the power tools i use and instead of using the scroll saw or especially the table saw use a coping saw coping saw cuts through this just fine easy to do also let them do all the painting let them make a mess and have fun that's how we get interested in learning for me, I think this is going to work great as a white elephant gift exchange. Thanks for watching. Kissy, kissy.